Alrighty guys, what is up? Nighthawk DBZ here, back with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video, and today we got a new banner, but I am not summoning on it entirely. I'm just gonna be doing the, f the first summon, and that's it. But let's go over it real quick. So we have the new uh, Dokkan Fest unit, which is Kefla, uh, the fusion between Kale and Khalifla of the Saiyans of Universe Six. Um, and then uh, we also got Avados as well. And, you know, Android 13 comes back. But uh, uh, Kefla, you know, Dokkan's Awakens. And uh, she actually transforms into Super Saiyan Kefla. And then she has, uh, an, I believe, an active skill. Which she transforms into Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. And then we have Avados. Which Dokkan's Awakens in as well. We're actually going to look at them in a few seconds. Uh, so that is them. Uh, we also got a couple special missions going on. Um, for uh, this little uh, celebration going on. Uh, login bonus. Uh, as you guys can see. It runs until the uh, August 26th. And we get stone each day. Um... Also, we have the Rapid Growth Category Summon Banner, which that is uh, Kefla's uh, um, uh, category leader. She is a Rapid Growth, and as you guys can see, uh, you we have a Kale and a Khalifla on this banner as well. Well, one of the featured units, but um, uh, that's pretty much it. What else we got here? Oh, uh, we also got another Elder Kai banner, which you can summon for some Elder Kais uh, to raise super attacks pretty easily. Uh, also, we have a new battle uh, battle mode uh, coming. It's called the Ch Explosive Chain Battle. Um, I know a lot of people are, would be for, familiar with it on uh, the JP side of the game, uh, but it's coming to global finally. So this will be a pretty fun uh, event to do. Uh, as you guys can see, you use the treasure items emblem of cooperation. To open a secret treasure chest and a random skill orb is inside can be attained from this chest. So that's pretty good actually. But uh, just hopefully you don't luck out and get one of these blue ones all the time. Hopefully you know get a little, get a little bit of some of these gold ones because gold is the best. Um, and then you know we have the crank it up maximum power campaign. Uh, that's what's going on right now. So uh, you know we already went over the special missions. You know login bonus. Uh, stone sale going on. The new Kefla banner. The Rapid Growth Banner, uh, Kefla's uh, Dokkan event, and uh, Warriors of Universe 6. Also, we have a new Dragon Ball Infinite History, which I will be doing the two stages as well. And Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash. And then, you know, a few of the other story events come back. Um, like the Universe Survival, Universal Survival Saga, uh, the Universe 6 Saga. And, you know, we got the Wiss. Uh, looks like the Wiss is coming back as well. Starting off from 816. Yeah, so the Wiss is going to be coming back as well. Uh, we have the physical uh, uh, banner coming back. And it looks like that uh, I'm assuming these two would actually be able to w awaken as well. So I have the um, the um, uh, the Gohan. So I can't, can't wait to test him out as well. It looks like we got the Majin Buu banner coming back. New story event, my bad. Um... The most fearsome Majin. So that one's coming back. I could have swore this banner was already collect treasure items. I could be thinking about a totally different one. And then we have the reopening of a story event, which is the um, World Tournament Reborn. So that is what we got coming on right now. Now we can go and take a look at our little um, summit. So this is the banner right here. I'm only going to be doing that first summon available. Uh, you use 25 stones to perform a multi summon, and you get five characters, which one of them is guaranteed to be an SSR. Now, the only problem is it says one of them guaranteed to be an SSR. We don't know if it's one of the featured SSRs, which it would be nice if it's one of the featured SSRs, but this is Kefla right here. Uh, can we pull up her card real quick? So. She is universe uh, 6 category, key plus 3, attack and defense in HP 170%, or the rapid growth category, uh, key 3, HP attack and defense 150. Uh, she uh, raises attack, causes immense damage to the enemy, and lowers 
defense. Would have been nice if it was lower attack, but lower defense. But she does raise her attack, which is kind of good. Pretty much good. All right. Um, so our passive skill, defense 100%, attack 100%, when performing a super attack plus an additional attack plus 50%, and a high chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack, with six or more key sphere obtained, transform when conditions are met. So, yeah, and this, these are her link skills, same Warrior Race, Battlefield Diva, Fuse Fighter, Power Episode by Gods, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament Power, and Fierce Battle. And also, these are all her freaking categories, Rapid Growth, Pappy Girls, Bizarra, Transformation Boost, Super Saiyan 2, Universe 6, Universal Survival, Full Power, Super Saiyan, and Final Trump Card. So, yeah, and then, as you know, she transforms into Super Saiyan Kefla. Now, when does she transform? Transform starting from the third turn from the start of battle. Okay, so then, as you guys see, her uh, super attack then changes, which she causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. Would have been nice if it was attack as well. Uh, her passive skill then changed, which just kind of adds up to 150% uh, defense and attack. And she gets Super Saiyan as a Link skill. Then, this is her passive skill, which uh, should be the active skill, actually, which is uh, transform with HP at 60% or more, starting from the next attack in turn. So, this is Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, which, as you guys can see, she raises attack, causes immense damage, massively lowers defense, which would be nice if it was attack as well. Um, so... She then has another active, an active skill. So does she transform again? Then has an active skill. Jeez. But yeah, that that then you know Super Saiyan two Kefla again. So <laughs> yeah. Um, now we have Lottos, uh, who she is a Universe Six category H, uh, Key Three HP Attack and Defense one hundred twenty percent. Holy shit, that passive skills. Oh god damn. Um, yeah, that's a pretty big passive skill. Wow. And we have our super attack, which is causes supreme damage to the enemy, lowers attacks, and also seals super attacks. Not bad. So she's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty 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 good. Just that passive skill is like holy wait, hold on. I'm on the wrong one. There we go. Attack and defense, 60%. High chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attacks. Universe 6, Realm of Gods, Sibling Bonds, and Bond of Master and Disciple category allies. Attack and defense, 20%. Whoops. Come on. Randomly changes key spear of a certain type to ra uh, rainbow key spear when there is a universe 6 category ally self-included attacking in the same turn. Okay. And those are her categories as well. So, eh, pretty good. Pretty good. And, well, we already all know Android 13, Android 17, Hit, who I don't have, Goku Black, I only have one dude with him, Turles, I have a couple, and then these are our rests. Okay. Alright, so, like I said, I'm only going to do the 125 stone summon. Uh, that's it. I'm not going ham on this banner because I kind of want to save up for the 350 million download. Uh, cause that should actually be coming out. We should be actually be hearing some news on that soon, hopefully. So, you know, without further ado, let's jump in and, you know, let's see if we're lucky enough to pull Kefla on the first summon. Now, I know when the Beerus Spanner came, a Beerus had something similar like this, and I got him first multi. Okay, so we got a Wisp. Okay, I like that. I like that Wisp. Can we, can we, can we get a Zeno? Maybe. Rainbow. Super Saiyan? Nah, I know Zeno. Unless Wisp, you know, wants to rewind time on for me. Be pretty helpful. Alright, we got a Chiaotzu. Got a Videl. 18. 17. That's funny, right? Alright, who's our final SSR? And we got Super Saiyan Trunks GT. Alright, well, that was terrible. All right, then. Hold on, thirty. Am I mistaken somewhere? 
Uh, let me just go back and check out something. I might have read the witch call it wrong. Uh, where's the banner? Here it is. I must have missed somewhere along the lines. Where did I? Okay, here we go. Step one, 25 stones, five characters. Step two, 30 stones, seven characters. Step three, 45 stones, 10 characters. One SSR is guaranteed when performing a multi in step one and two, and a featured SSR character is guaranteed when performing on a multi summon in step three. Uh, what? You know what? We're doing all the steps. My bad. All right, so let's do the 31. Why not? Why not? Let, let's see if we're lucky enough to pull Kefla. You know, I would say if you have the stones. Okay. Got a rainbow and a super saiyan. No, no fusion. I would say if you have the stones. Super saiyan 3. Because we are guaranteed an SSR. I would say, um, yeah, if you guys got the stones and you want to summon. By all means, go ahead. But I, like I said, I'm, I'm mainly. Who's that? Okay, uh, I think I have this kale. No, I don't. Maybe? No? I don't think I... I you know, I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Now, who's that? G... Goten. I was going to say GT Goku. Alright, I... Don't think I got her. So, uh, I think she actually awakens from the Kefla event as well. And let's do the final one. So, this is where we are featured the guaranteed... Uh, unit. Okay, so we got Hercule, Rod, and Boo. Boo. I said Boo. <laughs> Hercule, Rod, and Boo. Um, now, I don't know if that means Dokkan exclusive or what. Long Kamehameha. I think we're getting Kefla here. Or Vados. I think it's one of the two. Or we're just getting one of the featured units, which is fucking 17, which I already have. Him. There's still a chance, though. Right? Game. Game. There's still a chance though, right? Alright, Android 16. Yamu. Nappa. 17. And Android 13, who I actually do not have either. Alright, not bad. Not bad. I mean, I don't have Android 13, so... Eh, why not? I can probably use them on the Super Battle Road for the Android, uh... You know, Android area. All right, and we got another dupe of him. All right, so we did not pull Kefla, and not 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 my baddest summon, but you know, would have been nice if we would have got her. All right, but that yeah, that's the banner. Um, and uh, you know, real quick, we'll take a look at the. Um, where am I going? I have no idea anymore. Uh, let's go over to the event real quick. Now I'm also gonna be doing this in a separate video. Uh, but uh, we do got the, like I said, Infinite Dragon Ball Heroes 7th and 8th. So I will be doing those stages in a separate video. Uh, also, I hit the wrong goddamn thing again. Uh, also, this is the Kefla um, Dokkan event. Uh, so as you guys can see, uh, you got to beat her on Z Hard and Super to get her medals. Uh, if you do have the specific characters, which is pretty much Goku, Ultra Instant Goku, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, or God Goku. Um, you can pretty much destroy the event. Um, so I'm probably going to be running it with my LR event with my LR Gokus. I'm going to try to run with most of these units. Uh, mainly uh, this one, that one, and that one. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, I'm rambling on now, but... Uh, Alright, so that's Kefla, that's Vados. All the, also, uh, the Kefla Awakens... My god, her passive skill is insanely a lot. But yeah, she also Dokkan Awakens. Okay, and we since we did pull that Kale, she also Dokkan Awakens as well. So I will be getting her up on her super attack and also Dokkan Awakens on her. So yeah, uh, that's the banner. Uh, for all you people who decided to actually summon on a banner or at least went through the first uh, three steps... Uh, let me know. Did you guys pull Kefla right away, or you know you pulled a me and got Android 13? Which, like I said, don't mind. I don't. I didn't have it Android 13 anyway. I skipped this banner, but you know we got Android 13. So uh, yeah, let me know if you guys got Vados, if you guys got Kefla, you know whoever. And yeah, hopefully if you guys did summon on the banner, hopefully your your summons were good. Hopefully they were blessed, and you know yeah. 
Uh, so yeah, other than that, guys, I uh, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. It uh, wasn't really too much, just a little bit of someone. I mainly just rambled on and kind of talked about what was going on. But be sure to uh, stick around. Not stick around in this video, but, you know, stick around for the next video uh, where I will be doing the Kefla event and also doing the Infinite Dragon Ball History uh, events as well. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, if you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to smash that like button. Also, if you guys are new to the channel and have not already, subscribe as well for more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. And also, if you guys are into that uh, Halo, uh, I, I am playing with one of my friends. Uh, we are playing the Halo campaign as well. So if you guys want to go check out those videos, you know, stop by, take a, bit, take a check out those videos where I do go over the mission and I also find a terminal location. But like I said, that's a totally different video. Uh, other than that, guys, have a good one. Be safe. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Later.